Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and doesn't it feel like we're getting an absolute flood of free, high-quality game content to play around with? Well, if you're a Unity developer, you got even more now. Uh, now, you may recall, uh, back in, I believe it was February, uh, they released a 2D game kit. The whole idea behind the 2D game kit was basically um, a full, complete game with learning materials that required zero programming to get up and going. So basically, you could learn and explore how to do 2D development inside of Unity without having to do a lot of in-depth programming work. Well, the cool news is there's actually a 3D version of this under development as well. And as of yesterday, the beta is now available. Uh, as you can see from this post here. Now, I will throw the link both to the 2D game kit video as well as the uh, new 3D game kit store entry, which is right here, and go ahead and download it. Now, this guy is big. It's four gigabytes. It takes a long time to import, and it requires the most current beta, at least as of this uh, recording, which was Unity Beta 2018.1 uh, B13. And I actually tried running this on B... I think it was either five or six, and I did run into some problems. So you do, in fact, need to have the most current beta for this stuff to work correctly. And without further ado, let's take a look at what exactly is included. Now, one thing to be aware of, this is beta. It's not complete yet, um, and it doesn't seem to have the learning resources that the 2D did. So this is mostly a um, project um, to play around with, to explore, but it is, as you will see in a second, very complete. The other thing to be aware of is after you've imported it once, you basically have to reopen the project so the project manager uh, fixes the errors that you're going to encounter. And this is it. Um, this is one of the levels you see here. I open up to load it, go into scenes, uh, gameplay, uh, and then there's level one and level two. This is the most intensive level, level two. That's what we're looking at right now. And as you can see, otherwise, there is a lot of assets going on here. We've got a um, number of materials being made, uh, different models, character models, etc. Um, so here is the main player character model. Um, obviously, a bunch of prefabs to go with that. Uh, we've got a number of scripts controlling everything here. Um, so here's your game scripts, etc. So you've got all of the resources you need to jump in and look. And let's just take a look around this level so we see the kind of quality we're dealing with. And hopefully I don't give you motion sickness here. Uh, for a matter of perspective, this is running on a 1080. So this is um, this scene is a bit of a pig. You do need to have pretty good processor to handle it. Uh, but as you can see, it is very, very detailed, very, very cool to work with. And let me just fly through that door and fully rigged, fully lit. It's it's a pretty stunning scene, to be honest. Um, just very cool thing to work with. So if you're a Unity developer and you want to get hands-on with something uh, quite cool, do be sure to check this out. Now, again, it is beta. I do hope you get the step-by-step -step course guide that the 2D game kit ultimately shipped with. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is a, a beautiful looking level. Now, one thing to be aware of, if you are running it on uh, slightly lower end hardware, like as I said, this you're seeing a performance of a 1080. Uh, when I ran this on a 970, it was a slightly different story. Uh, in that case, what you want to do is come up to edit and then go to project settings and quality. And you'll see here they have a number of different predefined setups. So right now we're on fantastic, which is the best graphic settings. Let's switch it to fastest. And as you saw, the graphics obviously took a big hit. But your frame rate should be significantly smoother at this um, this level, especially if you're on an older uh, GPU. Uh, you're also seeing a bit more pop in, etc. But for the most part, uh, it should be playable across the, you know a wide variety of machines to run this. Uh, it is, again, fully fleshed out. You come on in here, you've got your various different assets, effects, and such. You can see exactly how they've implemented them. And then hopefully in the near future, when you know this is a fully fleshed out uh, release of the 3D game kit as opposed to a beta, we'll also get some of the learning materials that accompany the 2D game kit. But um, even as it stands now, there's definitely value here for um, you know figuring out how to do things. Uh, it's pretty stunning overall. And let me just quickly show you the other level. Uh, scenes, where did you go? All right, here we go. So let's open up level one. Da, 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 da. And again, they're pretty big files, so um, this is going to take a second or two. All right, actually, that wasn't too bad. And this is the other level, a little bit less intensive. And you see a, a few more of the things going on in the scene, such as this jump chip right here. Um, but all told, it's just... It's an impressive project. It's definitely worth checking out if you're uh, 
If you're a Unity developer, do be sure to check out this new game kit. So once again, it is available on the Asset Store. Uh, it's called the 3D Game Kit. You search for that in the store and you will find it. And again, it's 4 gigs in size. Um, when you first import this, I bet you it took my computer close to a half an hour for some reason. Which is strange because on my other computer, with the slower GPU, it imported significantly faster. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But when you do import it, do remember you got to reopen it after. And if you have your performance issues, do be sure to head on down to those um, the edit quality settings and jack it down to a lower setting and it should run just fine on your machine. Uh, but definitely an interesting game kit to check out if you want to see you know their best practices and implementation. And one final time, hopefully we do see some learning materials come with this, so it's a bit more of a guided experience for people. But it does allow you to get into a fully running um, game, and you know if you want to start, you know if you're an artist and you want to start bringing in your own assets and plopping them in, uh, you've got a seamless environment to go ahead and do that now. So it, you know it gives you a starting point to go from. Um, that's about it for now. Uh, so I will keep track of this guy. So when it comes out of beta, perhaps do another video, especially if they do add a bunch more content and learning materials to it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please, of course, do click that subscribe button and apparently also the notification icon if you actually want to be notified 100% when a new video is updated because YouTube is being strange lately. I uh, hope you found that useful. I will see you all later. Goodbye.